Welcome back to What Artie Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an Object 705. It's a Tier 9 Soviet heavy tank and it's located on the defending spawn of Empire's Border Assault. And it's under the command of Arpenheimer. Battle started. Well, one of the designs that the Soviets were working on, apart from the IS-7 and the Object 260 and other heavy tanks, was a rear-mounted turret tank and this was the 705. Now as you can see engine up front, turret at the rear and the turret's very very flat like a almost like a skillet like a the IS-3 turret in a sense but uh, much flatter altogether and it carries uh, or mounts a 122 millimeter gun here uh, although you can carry a 13 centimeter gun. Now it's very very slow the really bad thing about the Object 704 is the speed. It can only do 40 kilometers an hour forwards and 15 back. But uh, despite that, it's got a gun that can do 440 alpha and it can penetrate up to 248 millimeters of ammunition on standard APCR ammo. And it's carrying 21 rounds of uh, APCR, 16 of heat and three of HG. And it looks to me like Arpenheim is gonna go down the east side of the map. Now, he may have had experience with Empire's Borders battles before and know that uh, that's where the enemy heavies tend to come through, whereas the mediums tend to make their way through the gate into the cab area. Okay, we've got an AMX-30 just up ahead. He gets out of the way, and we've got a T-20. Lock on. One round in. High roll. 468. He's putting the rock between him and the 53 TP. Reloading. And the T20 is no more. Now reload time is 9.91 seconds. He just took a round there from the Tiger P and the 53T, but he's going for that steel weapon Traeger. And he gets a nice roll in the 362, but it's not a high roll. And there's an SU-100 over there. Takes the steel weapon Traeger out the game. Second kill. Now he needs to get rid of that SU-100. He won't be able to engage the other heavy tanks. Puts one through him. High roll. That's going to have damaged his engine. Next run, round should finish him off. And he gets the kill. Third kill. Okay, now it's time to side scrape and prove what this uh, tank can do in side scraping mode. Well, he didn't penetrate the Tiger P there. It's an oh ho. Ooh, took a round from the Oho. And he was tracked by the Tiger P. But he has picked up a potential steel wall. So he's nicely side scraping off this rock at the moment. But he is taking damage from some of the enemy. Took a round from the 53 TP as well. Oh, he's got a fire from him. He set him on fire and he's burning. So he doesn't have a fire extinguisher. Okay, he was tracked there by the uh, by the uh, oh, it's the 53 TP you tracked him, and he fires around. And this time, he does connect with the Yag Tiger. Gets 443 of him, and the 53 TP is down, taken out by our Oho. Oh, oh took a round from the Oho again. 293. It's going to side scrape off the 53 TP wreck. There's the GW Tiger P. Oh, one shot and he's out. Bad place for RT to be. There's the Ag Tiger. And he doesn't connect. But he does burn his repair kit to get his tracks up and get behind cover. Oh ho. Gets a hit. Went into the weak spot with the shoulders. Using the wreck. Can he get a hit into the Egg Tiger? No, critical damage again. But he is picking up assistance every time he's doing that. That's right, Will. Yes, that one went through. But it's a low roll. And that Tiger P keeps tracking us. The Oho's tracked us as well. The enemy's capping. 
Okay, can we finish off that Oho? Should take just one shot. Dials in, and yes, gets in. And that's his top gun, but he's going to have to get back to the cap now. The Oho's going through the gates. The other Oho is coming back with us, and he's got full health. Well, foolish health, 62%. Not really full health, is it? No, it's two thirds. Okay, and we've got some tanks making their way to the cap right now. They've managed to get a reset. And you can see during that battle, he was side scraping that wreck or that rock. And although the enemy was able to track him, he wasn't able to do a huge amount of damage to him. Except for, of course, that uh, there's an RT round there from the, or an HE round there came in from the uh, Oho, and one through the gun mantlet as well, it looks like. Now he's fixed his gun, and that's burned his repair kit again. Now this, the scores are even at the moment, so um, five tanks left apiece. But remember, this is an assault game, so they have to kill all of Oppenheimer's team or succeed in capping out. And there's only 3 minutes 50 seconds to go. So they're going to find it difficult. Okay, it looks like they went after our Arty and they got him. But that means the KV-13 and the Leo are coming around this side. So they should be easy meat for Oppenheimer. And he's already got six kills. If he can get these two, that will be his Radleys. There they are. KV-13 first. Puts a nice round in. It's a high roll for 468. Pulls back to get the reload. Bounces around. Leo's coming in from above. Bounces another round. Goes for the KV-13. And he's out the game. That's seven kills. Leo's next. We're still reloading. Despite what the mod says. One round into his engine. And the next round should finish him off and get us for Radley Walters. Oh, he turns round. Yes, gets it. That's his Radleys. Right, the enemy is capping, but we are now... Well, there's three on each team now. We've got an Oho coming up from the valley. And our other teammate is the other Oho. He's very low on hit points, so he's got 241. And the Oho in the valley is just being killed by the Scorpion G. So we're now all alone. It's just us versus three, no, two now. We just took out the uh, T-71. So the only the only remaining enemies are an Emil 2 and a Scorpion G. And the Scorpion G is coming from the valley. And the Emil's just over this ridge line. Now this is an assault game. There's one minute 52 seconds left on the clock. All Arpenheimer has to do is stay alive and he wins. They either have to cap out or kill him. It's going to be very difficult for them to kill him in the 705. He still has 833 hit points. So he's hugging this corner at the moment. Tempting the Emil to come down to try and face him face to face. And the Scorpion G's gone into the cap. But it's not enough time for him to cap out. He must realise that he's got 130 on the cap, he's got 120 on the uh, on the remaining time in the game. So the Emil has to get into the cap to help him. And if he does go into the cap, that will give Arpenheimer the chance to get at both of them. He's just waiting to see what they're going to do. That's the last minute Hooter, and there's the Emil. He still hasn't gone into the gap. So this is looking very good for Arpenheimer. He will win this, so long as he stays alive for the remaining minute. I'm not sure the enemy realizes the problem. They need to get into the cap. If they don't cap, they lose. Is that Emil still there? No, he's moved. He's moved. He's gone to the cap. He realises the problem. And he's going to try and get into the cap now. Can we get a reset on the Scorp G? There he is. 
and the Scorp Key pulls out and he's reset the cap. So they can't win now. They can't win by capping. They can only win by killing. And that's the clock's just run out. He's won the game. He took a big hit from the Emil 2 for 343 hit points, but it wasn't enough. It was too late. And it's an ace tanker for Arpenheimer in the Object 705. He played that very, very well indeed. He also managed to pick up a Radley Walters for getting eight kills, a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle, a steel wall for blocking the most damage, receiving at least 11 hits and surviving the battle, and a top gun for getting six kills, and a host of other medals as well, which we won't mention. But we got a win eight for that game, 17,100. What a score, Oppenheimer. Very well played indeed, sir. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, there you go, right at the top of the table, 7,062 hit points of damage. The next high scorer was the Emil 2. He managed to get 5,413, and he also picked up a top gun for his team. When it came to kills, Arpenheimer managed to get nine in the end. Uh, the Emil 2 got six, and then it's the Scorpion G who got four. <laughs> Nobody else really came close to them. And when it came to base XP, of course, it was Arpenheimer. Right at the top, he's got a clean sweep on all three columns. He got 1,647 base experience points. The Oho managed 984 and the MX 1357, 652. But the Emil 2 did do fairly well. He got 794 out of that. So he should be congratulated for putting up a good show. It's just he made a very poor decision not to go to the cap earlier than he did. He could have ended the game if he'd gone earlier. But of course, uh, Oppenheimer was waiting for him to do that and then to pop up and get a reset. And it was a pity that that Scorpion G did the silly thing of pulling back out of the cap to avoid the shot, because when he did that, he gave Oppenheimer the win on a plate. So let's have a look at the detail report. He fired 25 shots, he got 24 direct hits and 19 penetrations. Shows the accuracy of this gun. Uh, damage of 7,062 hit points, all of it at close range. He received 27 hits from the enemy. Two of them were penetrations, 21 non-penetrations. And most of those went into the tracks of the vehicle. He received five hits as a result of splash damage as well. He blocked damage of 4,070 hit points. He spotted five enemy vehicles, damaged 11 of the enemy and killed nine of them, and did damage assistance of 254 hit points. He also managed to get nine defense points shooting at enemy tanks that are in the cap. On the credit side, he earned 97,241 credits, got 48,621 for completing the mission and events, so his total was 145,862. And after repair, ammunition resupply, and consumables, remember he used mostly standard ammo at the start of the game, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, because uh, he was um, able to penetrate quite easily with the standard APCR, but he had to switch to the heat ammo uh, in the latter stages of the game simply because he'd run out of APCR to shoot. So he still made a profit of 83,081 credits. He has picked up eight bonds for getting the uh, Radleys, the High Calibre, the Steel Wall and the Top Gun. And he also got 2,470 XP for the battle, 988 for completing the mission and events, a personal reserve for 2470. So his total came to 5,929 experience points altogether. It was a masterful display of how to play the Object 705, which is... It's a bit of a difficult tank to play, mainly because of its speed. It's got a very good gun, and if you're a good player, it really does reward you. And as you can see in this game, Oppenheimer did play it very, very well indeed. The only drawback, of course, with this tank is it doesn't really perform as well as its bigger brother with the Object 705A, uh, which is slightly better. That's the Tier 10 version. But if you uh, enjoyed this replay, and I certainly did, uh, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.